Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of my for rent let's play sorry for how long this video took to be uploaded i got sick and my throat was sore for a bit it still kind of is so i don't know how long this video will be but i will try my best last episode my tenants had a curse problem and there was a mysterious man living in unit 3 i did not fill unit 3's vacancy at a time so i don't know how he got there actually i have an idea of how he got there but i moved him out from managed worlds if you didn't know you can move tenants in or out from managed worlds as well you don't have to use the fill vacancy option having to go home each time to fill a vacancy or just see the available tenants is a bit annoying in my opinion i feel like you should be able to do it from your phone or your computer anywhere but maybe there's a reason for why i'm not a game developer so i'm just stating my opinion here um but yeah the reason why i think he moved in is because of like story progression sort of things your sims can move like well the sims that you don't play with can move in and out wherever so i think that's how he got into unit 3 i could be mistaken but we do have new tenants in unit 3 now because I felt like by now we should have all the units filled and I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go on with this series. Regarding the curse problem, I took too long to get over to unit 1 but Devika, the, the time Devika took to swim all the way back from the cave, that was like forever so by the time I got to unit 1, the whole curse problem was gone and um... We took a little bit of a hit on our unit rating. It didn't actually go down, but it said that, you know, it was going down. I do want to take a look at the agreements before we hop into some gameplay. So, the Craigs, they have decent environment, amenities desirable, poor maintenance, and they have five days remaining. The Lee household, which I don't know why it says I have five units. Maybe I did something wrong or it's because of the build itself, but I only have three units in my other C files. It doesn't show up like this. This is the only one it shows up double, but I don't know. Maybe that's on my end, but unit two, which is the Lee household, they have two days remaining, which I want to try and play up until the end of their lease because I want to see what will happen if we're going to get paid or not. Their maintenance is poor, environment is decent, nothing really has changed there. And then unit 3 where we have the Sage household. Um, this is the new household that we moved in. Their lease is 3 days and I don't know how the, their maintenance is satisfactory. I, I don't really get this but okay. <laughs> Keep the unit and shared spaces clean and repaired. All of them are clean and repaired. Okay, well, that's... I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, I want to play until the Lee household's lease ends because I want to see if we will get paid or what will happen there. I will try my best to record up until then. But we're at the National Park because we're going to the night market. Devika wants to get more marbles and I believe you can get marbles from the computer as well. So I want to check that out later to see if they will have more on the computer or all the marbles on the computer. Or if it's like the night market as well where you might get like different marbles every day. Other than that, we have to come here for Imran's aspiration. The second part of his aspiration, he has to cook Tomorani cuisine three times, buy a shirt at the night market, buy food at the night market, and prepare a recipe using a pressure cooker two times. So I want to get this part of his aspiration done today as well. Regarding the Fika's aspiration, I'm not sure what exactly is a maintenance event. I feel like that was like the electrical problem. And I feel like this should have been checked off, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just gonna cheat it away because I'm gonna count the electrical thing as a maintenance event. The second part of her aspiration, we have to handle an emergency event. 
have a unit with ratings of three or higher and have two units occupied by tenants you also have to ins do a inspection passes on your rentals so we can get the inspection passes done in today's video and these two should check off sooner or later because we have tenants in two units and we have ratings all of them are rating for so that should check off i don't know when an emergency event might happen we'll just have to wait and see but yeah let's go and head to the night market they're both kind of hungry but i want them to come and get the like marble and shirt first we got here pretty early it's only 6 30 so why don't you come purchase goods and you can come buy let's have him buy the striped shirt maybe later on we can check it out in cast he wants to teach lesson to family we can do that and socialize with close sims i have had him socialize with close sims before i just don't know why this is not checking off i don't know if it's because i have a conflicting mod or something are just buggy i'm not sure which it is but i've noticed that some things aren't counting and some things are popping up when it shouldn't for instance oh okay we already have this marble we don't have this one though so we can get it but yeah for instance um Vika in the kitchen slash living room well the kitchen at home it keeps saying that something's dirty but when Im runs in the room he doesn't have the same thing saying something's dirty so there's actually nothing dirty I don't know what's going on there and then my sims all of them have the fear of the dark but they don't actually have it it doesn't say in the panel that they have a fear of the dark it's just their moodlet so i don't know if you guys know if that's because of like a mod or if that's just like a bug happening not really sure but if you know you can probably let me know in the comments down below Imran, go buy your shirt and then we can buy some food from this doll over here. Ooh, tofu pad thai. Let's go. Let's have you try that. But yeah, Davika is tense right now because of the whole taking a hit from the event that happened, the curse problem. So it says taking the hit from failing to address tenant problem. It only seemed like a small problem, but Devika is finding out the hard way that being a property owner requires more proactivity. It's okay. Like I said, I'm not here like if my tenants call me at 3 in the morning, I'm just going to rush over there kind of thing. So I understand why she's tense because she doesn't want the ratings to go down. But at the same time, like we just couldn't get there in time. <laughs> I'm very curious to see how this whole like getting paid is gonna work out because it says our daily rent income is a thousand one hundred and ninety simoleons so i wonder how much it will be at the end of the lease or how we're gonna get paid not sure yet um there isn't really much else for us to do around here i guess we can go play hopscotch so yeah i have not seen anyone play with marbles and this is another thing sorry if i like ramble or complain about things in this video like too much but um we can the adults can play hopscotch right but the adults can't play marbles when you go into build and buy the marble circle it says support children and your adults can't play it. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what it is, but the adults can't play marbles. I'm pretty sure. It says support children. And that makes me sad because how can they play hopscotch but they can't play marbles? Like, at least up to teens, I feel like should be able to play marbles. Even adults and young adults. Everyone should be able to play marbles, I feel like well except for like babies like literal babies so i'm a little sad about that and upset because i remember from since primary school to high school 
I've played marbles. Like, I'll still go and play marbles. I have marbles up to this day. So, I'm glad that we can collect them and all, but... I would like for them to play marbles. Oh? Okay, you got this, Davika. There you go. Alright, now you just gotta spin it around. You got this. Are you gonna play as well? Oh, you can watch. Ooh, she almost fell. Oh, that was a nice try. Is she gonna practice again? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. But yeah, I just feel like they should be able to play marbles. I love that our kids are getting more things to do, but my inner child feels very excluded. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, another bone I have to pick. Well, I don't have any bones to pick. I'm just being dramatic. But I just feel like there's not much going on here. Like, yeah, sure, there's some sims at the knife market. But I feel like everything here, it's like, oh, you come once or twice and that's it. Like, the fact that we have options to buy marbles on the computer, it's like, well, I don't even have to come to the night market anyways. <laughs> so, I don't know. I just, I feel like there's not much to do. I really wish this wasn't just a rabbit hole. If it, even if it's a rabbit hole, I feel like it should have had something with the cave. Like, like how the cave, you can get visuals of like, oh, your sims could take this turn and blah, blah, blah. I wish you had some sort of visuals with the temple. It just, I don't know, because they just go in and they're just like, oh, yes, it's a really nice temple and whatnot. And I'm like... I want to know what's inside the temple. Like, what did what did you do with the temple? I wish we can have some sort of visual or knowledge of what's going on in there. Because me, for instance, I've never been in a temple before, and this is Sims is a way that I learn about other people's cultures, like all these different foods I didn't know about. I didn't know about like animal sanctuaries, like from. I think this pack is based on Thailand. So, like, this is a way for me to learn about other people's culture. And I would have loved if we could have seen a bit more. Like, I appreciate what we have. But I just wish there was just a, mm, a tiny bit more. Because you can't even, like, interact with the fountains. If your sim goes near it, they get a buff. But you can't even, like, take a picture. Like, Shelly the Snail, I think is... The snail's name in cottage living like you can go take a picture of shelly and all these different things and yeah you can walk up here but you can't even like your sims can't even view it <laughs> they're just standing there and i wish we could toss like coins into this one i guess because of the bushes maybe they can't reach i don't know maybe i'm being fussy and picky let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments down below it is getting late so i'm gonna have them go home and we'll see about purchasing the marbles from the computer because i would like to collect all of them okay we're back home i'm gonna have imran head off to bed and vika i would like for you to come purchase some marbles let's see how many it will have and if we have to come check the computer like daily for marbles as well um let's see where is it purchase marbles there we go okay we have five there's five marbles and this isn't all of them i'm pretty sure there's like how many like and or more marbles to collect i'm gonna buy all of these because i want to sorry that we're spending so much money and let's take a look. Let's see how many marbles they are in total. I don't care about fish. That's my dad's thing. Where are the marbles? Okay, there's 15 marbles. And we have 8 of them currently. So there's 7 more to collect. I will check again tomorrow. Maybe on the computer. Or maybe we can go to the night market again sometime. I don't know if I really want to go back there. It's just nothing else to do like in the first episode it was so like exciting and you know everything was new you went to the night market and then once you did everything there it's like so why am i coming back <laughs> like i'm pretty sure once you buy these shirts there as well like you don't have to really go back there it's nothing 
much else to do. Alright, M runs up bright and early this morning. He really has to pee. And I want to work on the cooking, cooking cuisine part today. So I'm going to have him come use the pressure cooker. And we might just do some steamed rice for breakfast. I also want him to use the grill. I haven't seen him use the grill yet. So let's boil the kettle as well for breakfast. And then maybe we can just have some lunch prepared for later or some other time oh, yeah he's gonna come take care of that that should help with this should i just make a bunch of food now <laughs> the pressure cooker makes so much food that's another thing too i love that we have this but i wish it didn't make like not okay i wish we had the option to choose between like eight and twelve servings like i understand the stuff that it's being it's cooking like rice and soup like you make an abundance of that you make a lot because you know you might have to share or just you just make a lot of soup like that's just what you do you make a lot of soup but i really did wish we had like option between like eight and twelve servings because it's just these two living here and twelve servings of rice is a lot <laughs> Yes, this is gonna last us a hot minute and save us some money, definitely. But I also want to like explore as much of the as all the cuisines that we can as possible in the series. And um <laughs> steam 12 12 serving of steam rice is quite a bit. <laughs> but he's done with that. Let's release the vent there. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge. You can eat that for later. Maybe I'm just being fussy and really picky right now. I am on my monthly, so I'm just like nitpicking at a lot of things, even just not just in Sims, like just everything I've been nitpicking at the last few days. So let's have you make some tea. You can eat some of the rice. Tafika, you need to use the toilet and the bathroom. No, the toilet broke. Okay, you need to learn how to fix things anyways, so I'm gonna have her come repair that what we're gonna do is i'll have her head over to the rentals today to do the inspection pass and you guys could meet the tenants in unit tree as well i don't know when exactly this emergency event might happen if it ever will in the series because it's not really bound to happen currently so we'll see here i'll throw this away for you I like the garbage cans that we got. Like these remind me of like public trash cans and I love that. I'm gonna put that in like every public build from now. <laughs> but yeah, you take care of yourself and I'll probably I don't know what to do with this here because I, I have him socialize with Davika. I don't know if I have to do something specific. I'm not sure that I've had him socialize with her. And this hasn't gone, so I'm just gonna complete it. Okie dokie, so we're here at unit 3. Mika's outside. Hi, Mika. But I'm here to say hi to this gentleman. This is Owen Sage. He's one of the tenants in unit 3. I'll come talk to the other tenants in a little bit. I just want to make sure I introduce myself. The, the tenants here and i also do the inspection first because i don't know how long it will take whoa my game is laggy wait are you gonna take care of a plant what is this what wait what is that Marengi ghost wait you can plant that wait i'm so confused custom can oh it's candy what the heck is it doing here? <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. I'm gonna grab that. That's interesting. <laughs> That's because of one of my um CC year mods, so. Okay, so they let us in and oh they have a toddler and they also have a infant in this household. Where's the baby? Oh Licky, you're up here playing. So cute. Well let's go say hi to your mom. And then I will start the inspection. I'll ask them about the unit rating and stuff afterwards. 
I just want to see how long this perform inspection passes will take. Okay, can you ask her about the rental conditions, please? Because it's already 10. And we should start doing the inspection. I think we'll do their fridge or stove. And then we could do the electrical fuse box and the water tank. I think she's happy with the conditions. Um, Maybe this one. Elite property owner. Yeah, she's happy with the conditions. So let's come do the inspection on their fridge first since we're already inside. Where is it? Do maintenance. Inspection and maintenance. Also, wait, quick pause. This is another one of her outfits. I really like this one. It's cozy, but you know, it's still nice to go out in. And I love these sneakers. I love these sneakers that we got with this pack. Why are you checking up on the baby? So cute. Oh, you're from unit 2. Why are you just walking in and out of their house? Jeez. Okay. She's doing her inspection. Does everything seem good? Oh, oh. Okay, well, that counted as one. Okay, great. I'm just gonna have her do that two more times. Let's do it. Oh, they are planning things. What is this? Oh, oh, y'all are planning things. <laughs> what? What in the world? Y'all are... Okay, I mean, this is your unit. You do what you want to do. <laughs> interesting. We have some interesting things being planted here. But yeah, she finished performing inspection passes. She's just touching up the water tank here. Another thing I want to do, the stuff that we don't need to like upgrade. Well, not really upgrade, but like the stove on the fridge. When we get paid and we have enough money, I will give them the not used versions. But the stuff like the sink and the toilet, I want to upgrade them if we can. I want to see if that will help at all. So... I'm going to have her upgrade their sink. And then, what is... You caught a voodoo doll. <laughs> he just caught a future, future cube. And now he caught a voodoo doll. Okay. Um, so when she's done, I want her to come talk to Owen. Maybe we can ask him about the rental conditions as well. And this sign. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let's... Small talk. Let's ask about his day and we'll ask him about the rental conditions but the sign here the for rent sign i know we have some interactions that we could do with it so i want to check that out too while we're here so we can change vacancy visual which we might do because oh okay so i'm guessing this is like a you know all units are full sort of thing of household purchase residential rental ruminate on renting okay we have a few interactions there i like that we can have it show like you know this property is filled or sold etc oh this is another tenant from unit 2 oh yeah she's going to upgrade their sink right now can we upgrade anything else i don't think i'm gonna upgrade like this sink here so maybe we can do dirty faucets on that as well but the fridge and the stove, I'm for sure gonna upgrade once we have e enough money. But right now, I'm waiting for bills to roll in. So we will not be doing that. Oh, he picked up the kiddo. That's cute. And my game is lagging. Electrical failure. Again? Oh my goodness. Where? Which unit? um in unit two okay we were just about to head over there to you guys let me just pause and reset everyone okay i just want to ask owen about the well we actually asked his wife about the rental conditions maybe we'll just offer him a listening ear they're doing construction next door so if you can hear that my apologies but yeah let's just offer him a listening ear and then we'll go to unit two and see if we can fix this electrical problem hopefully this counts as like an emergency event 
Okay. Um, what's that? No, let's just knock on the door. Or do we not have to? Okay, well, let's repair this. We have to repair our all broken objects. Okay, the fridge is broken. Okay, so it's kind of like what happened in unit one. I am going to need to get inside. So why is the child out here looking like this? He's gonna freeze. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me control this child for a second because this is bad. I don't want you to die. Stop. Okay. Why are you out here in your swimsuit? He could have died. Put on some clothes. Change right now. Like right right now. Okay, and go home. Because I need to get into the house to fix things. And I don't know why I can't get in right now. So, go home. I can fix the problems. And we reached level 5 of handiness. Good job. She's learning. She is learning. <laughs> and while we're here, we might as well like upgrade their sink as well. I can't remember if we upgraded their kitchen sink. Mmm... We'll have to see another time. But let's, uh... We could upgrade their kitchen sink. Is anything else broken, first and foremost? Oh, and the trash. I don't want to have to find them for trash again. I will feel so bad if I have to do that again. So, let's do that. We could... Wait, is she gonna get electrocuted? Because of the water? I don't want her to get electrocuted. You're uncomfortable? Why? Wait, I'm a little scared. Okay, they don't have a computer. But I think we're fine up here. I know... This could probably get her electrocuted because she's in the puddle. She's literally stepping- <gasps> I called it. I called it. Okay, I'm just gonna bring her dad here to take care of this because... Yeah, I figured her being in that puddle was not a good idea but she was already doing it so i didn't want to have her stop oh no okay emran can you come mop this puddle oh a fire where 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 where's a fire please put it out please put it out please put it out <laughs> we just had a fire from that how do i extinguish this what do i do it's not letting me like click on the fire Hold on, stop. Everybody stop. Kid, you need to like get out of here. I don't know why he's in their unit, but how do I put this out? Yes, we know there's a fire. How do we stop it? Like the fire is coming from back here. Extinguish. Stop yelling. Just extinguish it. <laughs> Please, kid. Why are you just standing here? You're scaring me. Imran. Hey, Oh my god, okay. Now you're running, and now you're running. Okay. Oh my goodness! No! Not the counter as well. Oh, she stays. Okay, well, we got the whole emergency thingy happen. Like, we got that true. Good thing you got that voodoo doll in run because, jeez. Oh, that was bad <laughs> very bad why did this disappear he cooked cuisine two times and used the pressure cooker once why is that happening okay you're dazed <laughs> can you just um upgrade the sink let's let's not push ourselves much further than need be and you could probably come upgrade the sink in here too if we have enough not sure. Not sure. Oh boy. Imran. Can you come clean the floor here? And but that scared me. <laughs> that scared me. Okay. Well, we got to the next milestone in her aspiration. And this kid still wants to talk to me. For some reason. <sighs> now we have to achieve a 5 star rating on a unit. And we have to become good friends with a tenant. I think the tenant we have the best relationship is with Mika. 
So after she upgrades, I'm just gonna have her upgrade the kitchen sink. <laughs> just the kitchen sink. I don't know if I could handle her doing anything else handy right now. But let's come hang out with Mika. Because she's the one that we have the best relationship with, I'm pretty sure. So let's just come ask her about her day. Like, our day right now is interesting. You wanted to, oh, you wanted to tell us in the family. Okay. Um, you can come say hi to this kid if he wanted to talk. Maybe you can even come talk to the babies. You can hang out with the babies. Let's, yeah, let's ask about school. Just talk to the little kid, I guess. And maybe you can even play hopscotch with them. Oh, that might be cool. Go play hopscotch with him. He might like that. So, Hika, you almost done, love, because... I don't know, that was a heart attack and a half for me. I could imagine you right now. It's gonna be dates for two more hours. Seriously fried. Is smoke coming out of her? Oh my god. Okay. Um, you're almost done with that. Let's just go talk to Amika. Let's have a nice sit down and just chat. Maybe we can eat some of this lovely food that they cooked here. What is this? My mom's over here playing hopscotch with them. Pretty kid. That's cute. This is Tree Sisters Chili. We might grab us some of that. We just might. Okay, we became good friends. Okay, I might have them head home here now because she needs to use the bathroom and we're still pretty dazed. Um, let's take a look at the- Why is it going down? Why is it going down? Wait, what? What happened? Is it because of the fire? That's not my fault. I, I don't even know. Whatever. But yeah, they have one more day on their agreement. So I will play up until tomorrow and see if something will happen. If not, we might be coming to the end of the video here pretty soon. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the video off here for today. We will see in the next episode what will happen with the rent. If we will get paid or what's going to happen with the tenants. I'm going to leave that for next episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, leave your thoughts down in the comments below, subscribe because there will be more and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye!